Welcome back to the shipyard. Today we've got a really special ship, a ship I wasn't expecting to see. But before we get to that, a word on how you actually acquire these blind boosters. So these blind boosters are part of the 2015-2016 organized play series, which means that you go to your local store and more often than not, your store will be running these as part of the organized play event, which you can find out more information on the WizKids event system about that. And you can find local venues or not so local venues if you feel like traveling. And hopefully in the description, store owners will indicate whether or not they're running blind boosters. And from there, you will know what to expect. And you'll show up, you'll buy one of the ten, you'll get a random booster, and then you'll have time to build it as part of your fleet. So that's how these things work. If you have any questions on how that works, I'd love to answer them in the comments. So please let me know. Thank you guys. So without further ado, the ship that no one expects. Just like the Spanish Inquisition. Bioship Omega. That's right, folks. We have a Species 8472 Bioship in the Blind Boosters. I bet you didn't see that one coming. The first thing I have to mention about this ship is the model. Absolutely gorgeous paint job on this thing. It's slightly metallic, some bronzes, some silvers in there. Photographs amazing, as you're seeing here. I know my flash did some wonky stuff here. I tried to get rid of that. Tried to take some pictures without the flash, so I'm showing you the good and the bad here. But I guarantee you that it looks even better in person than I am showing you in pictures. So I'm going to try to maybe do a little video and post that on the community and on BoardGameGeek. So look for that there. This ship model, amazing. Like all of these blind boosters, the paint job on these are fantastic. If you care nothing about these cards, the model quality here is way, way, way up. Like seriously, the paint jobs are better. The plastic quality feels better. Everything about these just feels... Like, WizKids has stepped up the game here, made it so these are ships that you want to play, they look good on the table, and frankly, you're not going to be embarrassed putting them next to any other miniature. They look really good pre-painted. These are the ships that I start saying, I don't need paint. There were some ships early on that I wanted to repaint, because I said, eh, it's not quite there. Now, these are the ships I'm going, no, we're good. These are winners. So, way to go. Stepped up the game fantastically. I hope that this is representative of what's to come. And they look great. 38 points. That means all but 2 points of your blind booster are taken up by this named ship. Is it worth it? Well, let's find out. Named ability. During the deal damage step. If you inflict 2 critical to an enemy ship's hull. You may immediately flip those damage cards face down and rotate the damage ships facing by 90 degrees right or left. So essentially you make them do a spin maneuver, which if you don't know how the Borg work with their spins, you can find a reference card there. I'll link it in the description below. But ultimately, this is a card that is pretty cool. I saw this and I went... Whoa, that is nasty. That is going to mess with people. Like, seriously. You are changing someone's facing. You are messing with the way they fly. And, my goodness. Yes, you're ignoring crits. And critical damage is something that is huge in this game. But, wow. You can mess with cloaking ships because their shields are down, so... Any hits go straight to their hole. There are ways to guarantee critical hits outside of a blind booster. So Bioship Omega, I think, just became the go-to named Bioship for play. As for a blind booster, I still love this because it may not happen all the time, but if it does, it is a game-changing ability. Now, if you feel like having a little bit more flexibility with your points... You cannot take this, you save yourself two points, you lose that named ability, and you lose a shield. You're also going to lose a weapon slot, which isn't that big of a deal for a blind booster, because you still only have four points, and there's only one weapon in this pack. So, again, not a big deal here, 
as for unlimited play, you're probably not putting multiple weapons on this ship anyways. The maneuver dial is just like any other species bio ship. You get those two white turns, three red turns, and a three come about. I love that three come about. It's great on a bio ship. You need it because of only having the 90 forward firing arc. But that come about really helps mitigate that, get you in a better position, especially on the named ship because when they're facing the wrong way, if you can come about or turn into them at the right time, you're going to murder them. And that's just fun at the gaming table. All right, named captain on this bad boy. Bioship Omega Pilot. Action. Disable this card and two of your active shields to target a ship at range one. Inflict one critical damage to the target ship's hull. Love it. Absolutely love this. Action. Do a critical. Bam. Like, game changer. Because two whole ship like a Borg Scout Cube. Action. Do a crit. You might do a direct hit. Scout Cube has two hull. It's dead. Right then and there. One action, dead ship. Ship only has one hole left. This kills it. Right then and there. Best thing, it's only a disable. It's not a discard. Yeah, you've got two active shields that you have to discard. Number is specific here. Anytime there's a number, you have to have that number of shields in order to discard. It doesn't say all of your remaining. So if your shields are gone, you can't use this anymore. But that's okay, right? This is a card that you're going to use early and hopefully use often. So, Bioship Omega Pilot, big winner in my book, definitely an include in this ship. Our weapon is Energy Weapon. It's four points, so the only way you can take it in a blind booster is if you take the generic ship, and this is the only card you put in it. So, keep that in mind when we're talking about the card. Doesn't make it terrible, just makes it very situational. During the activation phase, if an enemy ship ends its move in your forward firing arc, you may discard this card to immediately perform an additional attack with your primary weapon at minus three attack dice. So almost always three dice, but at range one, four dice. If you do so, place an auxiliary power token beside your ship. Not a bad thing. Really cool ability to get an extra attack. Like, I love the possibilities here. I think this is cool outside of a blind booster. I think it's a little limited as the only card you can take because there's so many other cool cards in this pack. This is one of those cards that I sit there and I go, this is really cool, I wish I could take it, and maybe there's an organized play event where I'm going to want to take it, but the other cards win out because they're just better. And I like facing cards like that. I like facing these tough decisions when all my options are good, and that is really exciting for me. So it makes me face a really tough call, and I like it. Like any good bio ship, we get a myriad of tech. First up, we have Neuropeptides. During the activation phase, you may discard this card to perform an action from your action bar. Well, this is pretty cool, right? You can do two different actions. Yeah, sure, it's a one-time use, but maybe there's a time that you want to target lock and scan. Make sure that your attack is going to hit more. Maybe get off that named ability. Maybe you want to evade and regenerate. Like, those are both good options. Yeah, it's situational here. As a blind booster card where you're wanting to just say, hey, I want to play it a little safe, kind of, you know, see what happens and not go in guns blazing, this is a card that I go, hey, I like having that option. I like having this option even more outside of a blind booster. So, again, I'm looking at this from two lenses. A, what does it help? just building Bioship Omega when I pull it as a blind? And B, how does this help Species 8472 as a faction going forward in this competitive game or a casual game? And I love this card from both of those aspects. I think I love it more in Lens 2, but that doesn't make it bad in Lens 1 at all. Next up, we have Organic Conduits. When you reveal a red maneuver, you may discard this card to treat that maneuver as a white maneuver. All right. Now we can come about and not take auxiliary power. And that is a winner. Because the one drawback I have when I do a come about is not getting an action, right? I want to come about and be able to shoot. That's the whole reason I'm coming about is to get myself in a firing position. But now I can do that. And this card is one point. Yeah, I only get to do it once. But more often than not, that's all I need. 
right? I just need to do it one time, and that's going to be enough to give me that crucial turn to make it happen. This is a card that I'm going to have that my opponent's not, and that gives me a tactical edge, and that's all that I need to take the opportunity to them. So this is a card, A, look for it in the blind, and B, boy, if you're looking for a point on your bio ship to make it work even better, hello, Joseph, you paying attention to this card? I think it works for you, buddy. And the last tech and card in this pack is Resistant Hole, also a one-point card. You may roll your full defense dice in spite of the presence of an opposing ship scan token. Cool. Love to see that. One point, perfectly priced. Also, if a Borg upgrade affects your ship, captain, or one of your upgrades, roll one defense die. If you roll an evade, the effect is canceled. Again, nice little bonus. A lot of Borg cards have the text that say that they don't affect Species 8472 ships. So this isn't going to come into play a whole lot, but I can see it stopping some other cards. But I can see it stopping some other cards. Some of the crew, some of the things that disable, some of the drone cards. And I think those are starting to see a bit more play. So this is not a bad little point. I don't see a bad card in this pack. And to me, that's really exciting. So overall, Bioship Omega. This is a great pack. I'm not even entirely sure how to build a blind booster from it. I think that there's enough options here that you can tailor this to whatever scenario you pull it for. And to me, that is amazing. You can pull the name ship, the captain, and organic conduits or resistant hull. You could put neuropeptides on it. You could take the generic, the captain, neuropeptides in one of the tech or the generic the captain and both the techs and leave yourself a point short or the generic and the weapon I, I, you just have so many options and to me that's just so cool like i love flexibility and i love those little point decisions that matter and they're going to be the things that make the game so let me know what you think of this pack i'd, I'd love to hear more i'd love to hear what you think the winners are what the cards you think are really going to make a difference. If you think the same that I do, that this truly makes Species 8472 a really serious faction going forward, both as a blind and an unlimited play, let me know how you'd build your blind booster. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Continue to like, subscribe, share, and until next time, we'll see you around the shipyard. Take care, guys.